Happy Friday, Cyclone Fanatics, back here at Mr. B's at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. We got tent sale going on yeah, all day. Wonder, wonderful day yesterday. Thursday was our opening day, and there's still a lot of great product out there, so I invite you to come in and see it's going on through Saturday at 5 o'clock. All right. This is a must have to, you got to come to these kinds of things. Great values, great selections, three stores combined. Come and see us at Mr. B's in Clive, Iowa. Beautiful Clive, Iowa. Beautiful Clive, Iowa. Tim, what time do you close tonight? Tonight we close at 6. Okay. So we're just open to 6 on Fridays, and we're open 9 to 5 on Saturdays. Get a little early hour there if you want to come in early. Yeah. But uh, a lot of lot of goods left, and love to have you stop. All right. Sounds good, Tim. Well, yesterday we both picked Iowa State to beat the Kansas State Wildcats in Arrowhead Stadium, putting the Cyclones at 2-1. and one. Yes. Um, as far as we go here, <laughs> Northern Iowa comes to town next. I I don't think many people are going to disagree with me on this. I think when Iowa State starts playing that nine-game conference schedule, which isn't official yet, but, you know, it's pretty official. We, we pretty much know that's the way it's going to go. I don't think Northern Iowa should be on the schedule anymore. And I'm not disrespecting them. I actually mean that as a compliment to our friends in Cedar Falls. To me, this football team... There's just way too much motive to let them come into Ames every year. You ha I want to keep the Iowa game. I think it's necessary to keep Iowa on the schedule. These other two games just need to be, I mean, if, if you need to pay Drake to come up and play, right? Right. obviously that's not possible. No. But if you need to pay Central College or Simpson, whatever, you don't to, let Northern <laughs> Iowa inject, because that's the biggest game of the year if they're playing Iowa State or Iowa for them. They, they, they need to get a, uh, Iowa State needs to get a W in that place because the, the competition is tough all the way through the season. I, I happen to agree with you uh, in one respect. Uh, you know, obviously, we saw it last year. You and I have actually on the field beat Iowa. Mm -hmm. they, they, oh, they, yeah. they had circled that game, and they wanted it so bad. I, I think it was such a disappointment. It actually hurt their season to lose that game. Probably. Because if they had won that game, they might have went on to a better Bigger things. That would have been the biggest win in program history by H far. Huge mojo because, it, as you, as we all know, Iowa had a great season. But the, back to what you're talking about, I don't know if you look at the games we've had with you and I, they've all been tough, mm -hmm. and we've lost a close one or two. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I think we're laying ourselves out to, to have disappointment rather than even if we win, it's expected. Well, yeah. it, it's, there's, no, there's no incentive for Iowa State there. Uh, and I'm just... And, and it's I, not like, oh, I'm scared of you and I. No, that, no. That's not really it. It's just more along the lines that the room for error is so slim with this nine-game conference schedule. You cannot – I'm sorry, there can't be any doubt in these games. And, well, you know, let's say Iowa State, they're due for a down year, which that happens. Every Everybody goes up and down. Absolutely. Northern Iowa – can jump up and bite you, and yeah. we've seen it. You need to have a ga two games on that schedule that are a guarantee well, lock. Th this season, as we talk, there's not many locks in that schedule. No. And, and, oh, no. And, and, and you and I, and hats off to them. I, I'm on your side of this deal. I think they've put together, Farley, Coach Farley's put together a great program up yeah. there. They're doing fantastic. They've got great athletes. They're doing it right. I mean, he's doing a good job, and, and they, they are a threat every time you put them on, on your field, even at, at – at, Jack Trice. And this this whole conference expansion thing could actually really end up hurting Northern Iowa, in my opinion, because if, if you get to a 14-team Big Ten league, I think Iowa would probably have the same conversation. I can't guarantee it, but if you ever get to the point in the Big Ten where they're playing 10 conference games to two right. non-conference, right. one of those is Iowa State. They're not going to have Northern Iowa. They're right. number one. I mean, no. they're going to have Ball State. or I mean, it's not going to be Northern Iowa because we all saw what happened yeah, last year. Absolutely. And at the end of the day... That's the biggest game of the year for Northern Iowa. There's no question. If they're playing Iowa or Iowa State, and if both of the big schools shut them out, that's that's too bad. Because, I, I mean, I root for Northern Iowa. I, I hope most Iowa State fans well, root for we Northern should. Iowa. Absolutely. I mean, they're Iowans. But, you know, it's a bummer for them. But at the end of the day, you got to look out for your own well, back. And it, it's just it's not advantageous to have them on the schedule. It doesn't play well into a nine-game schedule in the, in the Big 12 and, and – giving a loss away, but potentially. 
I'm not saying we're going to lose to uh, you and I. No, I don't I mean, think so either. I, and I, I think we should, you know. Not Nine times out of ten, probably more than that, 19 out of 20. You but when you need there. that one big win to get into a, a, a seven and a seven and five season or an eight, you, you need that win. Mm-hmm. You, you need that win on the schedule. And, and it also keeps your players healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, playing uh, somebody that's not going in there with all their ammunition, giving it all, you know, that they, they're coming for the money. Yeah. You know, but I am all for putting the most depleted program you can find on that schedule every year. My pride has nothing to do with it. Just right. get the win. And I, I, I think this year, and, and I'm, I'm going to come out with my prediction here quickly, I think this year we're, we're, we're safe. You know, I think we've got yeah. a, a too much offense right now. Mm-hmm. I, and I think the defense, there's some athletes there, as we've talked earlier in, in, in this uh, predicting of the, of the games. But I think uh, I, I'd have to take Iowa State in this matchup. But in saying that, there's certainly a possibility of an upset here. Well, there is. There always is. But I, I think a lot of people, when you when you break down Northern Iowa's roster, man, they lost a lot of firepower. Yes, they did. But Coach Farley, I mean, here's the deal, though. That This has happened with them before, and they don't seem to drop off. They kind of are they're one of those programs in the FCS or whatever it's called now. They more yep. reload than they do rebuild. Right. So you're right. Yeah. you, you got to show up. You it, better show up. This asked the Iowa Hawkeyes yeah, last year. absolutely. You can't sleepwalk. I, I thing, mean, they, lo- they lost that game except for the score. I mean, they, they and, really did. And they've had success. I mean, this is it. it's different with Iowa than Iowa State. Northern Iowa hasn't had much success against the University of Iowa. No. They've beaten Iowa State recently. Okay? Right, right. So this is a game where these kids, you know, a lot of the Northern Iowa kids are going to be playing in this game. No, they haven't beaten Iowa State. You know what, though? The, the seniors last they year. They remind them. They beat them. Yeah. And they... The, the whole culture in Cedar Falls, You're right. they don't fear Iowa State. And, you know, they go into this game full speed ahead, and their there's, fans expect to compete. There's no question, and I think it's going to be a competitive game. Mm. I, oh, yeah. I, I think it's a seven-point ball game uh, wow. with Iowa State winning. Interesting. I, I really do. I, I think that, uh, you know, if Coach Farley's – that's a big game. You said it earlier. It's a big game for them. And he, he sits in that locker room and says, hey, we're playing our interstate rivals. We're going we're gonna to give it all we got. And mm-hmm. it's, it's a bowl game for those kids. It is a bowl game. That's a great way to put it. And so they, they want to give it all. So I, I think Iowa State, again, too much offense. Uh, I think it's 28 to 20, that kind of score. I'm going to go a little bit more. I, I think it'll be a 20-point win. Good. State. Great. I great. Think, I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, I, don't, I just don't see any way that – they can slow down Iowa State's playmakers, but, but, yeah. I mean, it, I wouldn't that, be surprised if it's a game like you predicted either. Well, I, I think they're going to have a hard time stopping that offense. I, I do too. I totally agree. I totally agree, and that's why I'm not afraid to, to pick uh, the clones in this one. What but, I hope is that it's about a 14-point game because Iowa State sits their starters out the majority when, of the second when, half. Wouldn't, that's that what be, I hope. wouldn't that be nice and rest and get ready for uh, for that Big 12 conference, which uh, – it's tough. It's going to get tough, and we're going to break that down here coming up. Uh, Mr. Bees, we're going to go game by game the rest of the season. Uh, so we got Iowa State three and one, right, Tim? Three and one looks good. All right, sounds good. More uh, Tim Sitzman picks coming up here. Hey, stop by the tent sale. Going to be open until six six tonight. six to the night and uh, five tomorrow. Nine to five on Saturday. We're looking at pretty good weather, so stop in. Lots of selection. Love to see you at. 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Chris. See you around. Tim Sitzman here at Mr. B's. I'm Chris Williams saying so long.